I, I've seen the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah I loved yeah. it. My favorite film. Oh, right on. Well, okay, why, why is it your favorite film? Because back in the 70s, all my friends would be talking about it. They were saying how great the movie is, especially the acting. Uh, because, you know, come from Brooklyn, when I come from, we have the Italian parade. You know, we have the, the issue with the mafia back in Brooklyn, all the different stories. And I follow Frank Sinatra and how he became famous. And that's why The Godfather gives you a taste of what it was like back then. That's why this show, the office show, the making of it, I'm excited to see it because most people wonder what it takes to get The Godfather made. So this will explain it all. That's so true. And Lenny Montana? My favorite, Lucy Brassi. Don't mess with him. Hitman, wrestler, the best. No doubt, no doubt. That was like, it's perfect for you, right? That was like yeah, perfect for you. I loved it. I, I remember the first time I've seen it, I related to him because he was such an outcast kind of a guy. And he practiced his speech, he was very nervous. So it was a lot of me back then. Man, you look so good. Thank you. I see you like, I don't talk to you for two years. You still look great. I look like whatever. You still look great. Thank you. And uh, what, I mean, everyone was asking you what, what, your, what your tricks of staying so. Is it your jeans? Is it your Italian jeans? Italian, uh, good living. I exercise, have my red wine, good food, positive attitude, positive mindset, and uh, no stress. Yeah, definitely no stress because there's no Hulk as good as you. Exactly. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, pay, I'll pay you later. <laughs> you are the best for me, Thank man. You, you are. Appreciate it, you too. You too. I'm not done with you yet, though. Uh, okay, good. Okay. So what's next for you, then? What's going on next? Well, I did a movie with Dean Cain called Fallen Angels, a comedy. I'm working on two other films. I've been pretty busy. For the last year and a half, two years, I've been involved with it. Before this, because of COVID, I've been home for like a year and a half. So now I'm... People, I'm so used to man for public speaking because I teach people how to overcome fear, maximize your personal power. Because what I've overcome myself, and uh, the more the merrier. You know that's so bold and strong of you, right? Because uh, having to speak in front of people is one of the hardest things you could possibly do. People would jump out of plane instead of talking in front of people. People, they would rather commit suicide if they could. That was my biggest fear in life. But that's the more fear in life is talking in front of thousands of people, hundreds of people. I love it because when I was a kid, I couldn't speak. I had a difficulty. I had a severe speech impediment, also with the hearing. I changed that because I have the implant. I've worked on my speech. So I'm able to give a lot of hope to people that need the hope because my whole life, I've maximized my own personal power. Do people appreciate you more these last five, ten years? Yes, they do because especially when I've overcome what I've done, because now, especially, we've lost so many people with the pandemic, and more people, they cherish their life, they cherish their friends, they cherish their families, because we're going through a change into society. No, no, and I cherish you, man. You're Thank one you. of the all-time greatest. Thank you. Good Thank to you. See you. Good to see you, too. Thank you, too. Take care. Good